Hi guys and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to do a kind of smoky, dramatic, winged eyeliner look and I really hope you enjoy it. I'm just putting my hair up in a ponytail so it doesn't get in the way when I'm putting on my makeup. Then I'm taking my professional and just putting that in the areas where I have large pores, which is basically on my chin, um, on my forehead and on my cheeks. Then going in with this concealer quad from Sephora, I'm taking the green color, which counteracts redness, so I'm just putting that over the red spots that I have, and I'm just blending it out. It's gonna be visible until you put on foundation, but don't worry about that, the foundation will cover it. And I'm also putting some on my nose in a bit, because that's where women in general just get red because of hormones and stuff like that. Then taking the purple color from the quad, which counteracts yellow. I'm just putting that around my mouth because I have some yellow weird patches around there. And for my foundation, I'm using the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. And I'm just dotting that all over my face. And it's a medium to full coverage foundation. So I'm blending it out with my beauty blender or my beauty sponge from Lula Techniques. And I'm just taking a lot of time to blend this out and the Beauty Blender really helps with um, making the foundation not look cakey and just really natural. about this foundation is that even though it's a medium to full coverage foundation you can still build it up places where you think you need a little bit more coverage and I'm just doing that on my cheeks since I had some breakouts and it just doesn't look cakey even though it's two layers and next I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15 <clears throat> sorry and I'm just dabbing that under my eyes with my fingers first and blending it out but not completely and as you can see just a really nice highlight um, and I'm just doing that in a triangular motion and then I'm taking my beauty sponge and blending the rest of it out this does so the concealer doesn't crease throughout the day I've experienced because it just sucks up that extra concealer and I'm also taking that over my eyelids as kind of a primer for my eyeshadow and I'm just combing through my eyebrows just to shape them into the shape that I want. And then I'm going to fill my eyebrows in. I'm doing this kind of quickly. Uh, I'm taking Charcoal Brown by MAC and filling that in with a Real Techniques angled brush. And I'm just going over my natural shape. And then I'm taking the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in Ash. I'm taking the powder. And I'm just starting from the inner corner. And I'm just brushing that out as you can see. For setting my concealer under my eyes, I'm taking this chocolate, no, it's called white chocolate color from Too Faced palette, and it's a highlight, but I'm using it as an under eye concealer powder setting thingy, and it works really well. I'm also taking that all over my eyelid, because I use this as an eyeshadow base kind of at the same time. And then I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte powder just to set the rest of my face. And in a bit you'll see that I'm wearing bronzer and blush. I'm sorry for that, but my camera didn't film it. But I just used the Buddy Shop Honey Bronzer and an e.l.f. blush. And then I just soaked myself in Fix Plus. For my highlight, I'm using this color in the Too Faced palette. It's called Champagne Truffle. It's kind of a pink toned, sparkly highlight and I'm using that on the tops of my cheekbones, on my nose, on my forehead, on my cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin. Oh yeah and don't forget the brow bone. And here I'm just going in with the color Salted Caramel on a really dense brush and I'm just popping that on really slobbily. You don't need to be very neat with this. Um, as you can see I'm just popping that on and a little bit up to the crease. 
After I've done that, I'm just taking a tissue paper. You can use a card or you can use tape, it doesn't matter. And I'm just creating this really sharp line, but using the same color and same brush. Then taking a smaller brush, kind of a blending brush, I'm taking that with the same color again and just in the crease and above to blend it out. Taking the color called Amaretto, it's kind of a brownish red um, shimmer color. I'm taking that all over the lid. Everywhere where I put the salted caramel color as well, I'm just taking that on the blending brush and I'm creating that sharp line again. You just want to keep that sharp line. And after I've done that, I just remove the tissue paper and then I pack on the color on my eyelid. Switching up my brush, I'm using the dense brush again. As you can see, the lighting is a little bit different here, but that was how the eyeshadow looked in real life without the lighting on. Using this dark brown eyeshadow called Semi Sweet or Semi Sweet, I'm just popping that in the crease with the blending brush, and it just darkens up my crease a little bit and creates some dimension. And I'm putting that a little bit above my crease as well, just blending it out with the other colors. Taking a really small defining brush, I'm taking a color called milk chocolate and I'm just putting that on my lower lash line and it just creates a really nice smoky look. I'm really sorry about the crabby lighting again but now onto my eyeliner. I'm using the Maybelline gel eyeliner and using the brush as well that comes with it and I always like to start, well as you can see I do this pretty messily. Um, I like to start in the middle of my eye and then make my way out and then do the inner part and lastly do the wing. And it's really easy to do the wing in this look. I'm just following the line that I created with the eyeshadow and then connecting it. And I'm doing the wing pretty long um, since this should be a dramatic look. Then taking my bronzer again and a little small defining crease brush, I'm just putting some bronzer on my lower lashes just to smoke it out a little bit more. Here I'm just curling my eyelashes and preparing them for mm. mascara. And for my mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Rocket Mascara and I'm just using the regular one, not the waterproof one. And this is just a really nice mascara. It separates my lashes so well. It's incredible. I love this mascara. And next, I'm going to be using the Maybelline's Falsies Big Eyes Mascara, as you can see there. And I'm just using the one for the bottom lashes. And I'm not doing anything crazy about my bottom lashes. I'm just defining them a little bit more. But I don't want them to be like crazy long spider legs, so I'm not doing anything wild with them. And lastly, for my eyes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline, no, it's the L'Oreal Voluminous <laughs> Mascara for more volume on my eyelashes. And the last step for this look is my lips, or are my lips. And I'm just using Elizabeth Arden lip liner in the color Rose, I believe. And I'm just starting by um, outlining them and I'm also going to be filling them in. Not overdrawing them completely, but I am just going a little bit outside of my normal lip line. You could just keep it like that, but I'm going in with this e.l.f. lip color, it's a matte lip color, in the color Tea Rose on top of it, just because I think it's really nice, and I'm just drawing that over the lip liner. And then I'm going in with the Maybelline color Elixir Gloss in Nude Illusion, and just putting a really thin layer on top of that, just to make it look a little bit more plump. <laughs> This is a look that will look great on blue eyes and green eyes as well since it's a brownie ready toned look. It's just suitable for every eye color and it's just a really nice fall look. And you could switch the nude lip out with a purple and it would be fall appropriate. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next Sunday. Bye!